this ship from our ancestors seems to be protected by a mysterious energy field. Teleportation to the ship is currently impossible. The only way to reach it is through the main mass of the Space Hulk. Reaching this ship is your primary concern. Trust your battle brothers to deal with the rest of the Olethros. Brothers, retribution is at hand. It is our strength. We are the sons of Caliban. Let fury guide your weapons. Let vengeance be your song. We are the angels of death, and our enemies shall fall! Okay, but why do they have to be so intense? This is Space Hulk Deathwing, a game that I've known about for a long, long time, but I just have never played. It was the co-op FPS that was before Darktide, set in the Warhammer 40k universe, as you'd probably suggest. We are playing as Space Marines, and we are getting on board a ship to try and clear out what has infected what is below. Much like Dark Tide, you'll be playing with multiple other people, or if, like me and you have no friends, you'll be playing with AI. The AI in this are kind of horrific, but at least you can control them in some ways. It is done. The maps are pretty huge and also quite confusing. I got lost quite a lot in not having any friends to play and having AI that would just follow me around. It was a little bit of an issue to try and get into the first areas of combat. But when we did, that's when the game went from interesting to something kind of special. Sure, the game doesn't have the same kind of gory detail that Dark Tide has, but it's not that far off. You have your regular ranged combat, but you can also get up close with melee because you have a beautiful sword as well. The AI will do a good job of clearing up most enemies, and whilst you can do your bit, relying on them isn't too bad of an idea whilst you work out where you're actually trying to get to. You can have a zoom in mode that will highlight enemies as well, but most of it's going to be shooting. Now, shooting from the hip is going to be your main method. Unlike Dark Tide, it's a much slower paced game. There's no dodging or diving, slipping between things and aiming down sights with different weapons. You're a hulking space marine, moving through this massive space hulk with a bolt gun, a sword and some heavy power armor. And what it does really well is emphasizing that. You are much slower, but much tankier, and you really, really start to feel that as you move through these missions. atmosphere within the game is on point it is creepy as hell moving through these different rafters of this ship i mean this is almost scarier than dark tide i would actually say it probably is especially when you're playing it solo multiplayer however is something that i've heard is a completely different version single player is okay the ai are a little bit tedious to manage but they do work yet the multiplayer is what everybody says is the main way you're going to want to be playing space hulk most of the time when you're playing with ai you're just going to be asking them to heal you uh, other than that they'll be doing their own thing getting them to bash through doors is a possibility but once again these are things you can do on your own you do have your own special abilities whether it's putting out a big slamming shield or using x-ray vision or so on and so forth but they do a great job of making you feel like you are clearing out a tyranid infested hive not something that i'd want to do on a daily basis
They are coming. Whilst it reaches some of the similar success that Dark Tide does in terms of a fun multiplayer FPS, it does also have some of the same pitfalls. A lot of the missions do feel a little bit samey. Whilst the shooting through hordes of Tyranids is fun and adding in a bit of extra gore makes it more satisfying, it kind of starts to get repetitive. Most of the puzzles that you get throughout the maps are repeated over and over again, and you'll also have many of these times, especially towards the end of missions, where you and your fellows will be guarding an area, or a door, or a point. There is a loading screen or a loading bar that you've just got to hold out until that timer runs through. Then you can complete the mission and escape, much like Dark Tide. And it does seem that Dark Tide did take a lot of this game and it pushed it into the modern era. It's done a fantastic job, but a lot of the same criticisms, whether it's repetitiveness, whether it's a lack of variety of missions, can be seen within Space Hulk Deathwing as well. One thing they have done to try and give it a bit more variety is within the enemies. You have your generic Tyranids that will just run at you. They're pretty easy to take down. You've got lads that will shoot back. There are Explody Boys. I think that's the official name for them. And of course, you have your boss battles. Now, because we're Space Marines, it makes it a little bit harder for them to design the game in a realistic way to the lore, but also make it a fun gameplay experience. Because we should be just swamping through everything, and you do get that feeling, especially with the lower level enemies. Yet you still get a similar feeling with the bigger bosses, and I would have liked it to be a little bit harder. The game, at least for me and the AI I was playing with, seemed to go very, very fast. Whether I just had it on a lower difficulty, I think they should have ramped it up a little bit more, making it a little bit more intense, especially with the healing mechanic. As you're able to ask your AI to heal you if you need it or heal each other, they'll do it instantly. And there doesn't seem to be, at least from what I've seen, a limit. The Apothecary Space Marine will just heal you back to full health if you ask him meaning that you could just go on forever and ever, taking away a lot of the jeopardy that many of these games thrive on to give it that more hardcore and varied experience. Despite being an older game now, Space Hulk Deathwing has held up. Releasing in 2018, it was the Dark Tide before Dark Tide. And not even being close to as popular, I think it has a lot more potential to it. I mean, this is the enhanced edition, so it is a much nicer and prettier version. But with some 40k games coming out like Deathwing and Necromunda and Dark Tide, it seems that the FPS, at least for Warhammer and 40,000, is on a rise. They seem to be getting better and better, but they still have a similar issue. A lack of variety. Little to no single player campaigns or mostly thriving on its multiplayer player base, which is fine, but for games especially like Deathwing that aren't very popular, it could be an issue when it comes to the future. But I guess we'll just have to find out. But for now, I'm going to go back to kill some Tyranids.